What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing an ice trio for ranked regulation app. We got Shen Pao, Alola Ninetales, and Snow Cloak Articuno. Three Pokemon that thrive out in the snow. Now Ninetales over here, starting us off in the top left hand corner, has Snow Warning as its ability. Which means every time it hops onto the field, snow is going to fall. We're pairing that up with Lake Clay and Aurora Belt to try to get Aurora Belt out there for 8 turns. And let me tell you guys, or you guys should already know, Aurora Belt for 8 turns is absolutely broken. Ninetales also has Blizzard, it's got Protect, and it also has Howl to boost physical attack. Speaking of physical attack, we got the king of it right here, Shen Pao, with Swords of Ruin and a Life Orb as item. Hit hard with Icicle Crash, Protect, Sucker Punch, and Sacred Sword, a pretty standard moveset for all Shen Pals. Our third and final Ice type Pokemon is going to be that Snow Cloak Articuno. Paired up with Ninetales, in the snow, Articuno will then raise its evasiveness and pretty much dodge a couple moves, which actually comes in clutch. Articuno also has leftovers as item, Rock and Protect, Roost for HP recovery, and then last but not least, it's got Blizzard and Freeze Dry for two big time stab moves. Our final three Pokemon on today's team is going to be Gyarados, Entei, and Electifier. Now this Gyarados over here, pretty cool. It's got Temper Flare and Dragon Dance. So if we set up that attack boost, get also big time damage from Waterfall, then also have that coverage move of Temper Flare. Entei is chilling here with a pretty normal move set with Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed, Stomping Tantrum, and Snarl. And our last Pokemon, Electivire, really fun to use, has Motor Drive and the Focus Sash. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Ice Trio. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and the only way that they have weather control is going to be t -tar. So we're going to have to watch out for that and try to work around it. But they have a pretty strong team here with Magmar for support, Sylveon, they're also rocking out with Golden Goat, Zapdos, and last but not least, they have Urshifu. So I could actually go Electivire here. I kind of like a Electivire with the ground coverage move. Speed and attacks boost it. We love that. We have Follow Me if need be. Um, who else could we lead here? We could go Shen Pao, maybe Entei. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Shen Pao, Entei? I feel like that covers a lot. I feel like that covers a lot. And then in the back end, we could go Snow. I kind of like that. Then in the back end, we could go Snow. Yeah, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So that's going to be our lead. Nice little Shen Pao, Entei. Can never go wrong with those two. Boosting E speed, boosting any physical attack move, I should say. Sacred Fire can do some big time damage. But we'll see. We'll see how they want to play this one. Because we actually have a lot of speed here as well. Shen Pao, Entei, very, very fast. In the upper echelon of speed. And they're going to go Zapdos and Teton. Now, I can change weather right here, right now. If I, want. I could. I could definitely change weather. Or I could just go for Sacred Sword into... I could just go for Sacred Sword into Titar. And that's what I'm kind of looking towards. But if he's going to Terrasize, it's going to be flying. So do I just Sacred Fire and double down into the slot? I think I should. I don't think you protect Titar. I really don't. I think you Terrasilize rather than... Um, I think you Terrasilize rather than... Ooh, do I just drop an Ice Super Crash then? No, this is fine. Because if you Terrasilize, we should still be able to finish you off. And that actually works perfectly. Because you're dead to that. And now Sacred Sword... Or not Sacred Sword. Sacred Fire flies over. So that works perfectly. That works so perfect. Works more than perfect. Tailwind's gonna come out from Zapdos. Now they have a little bit of speed on their side. A little rough, but I like this turn because Sacred Fire's gonna do massive damage. Big time damage. A little bit more than half. Almost 3 fourths, almost 75%. That's a big time turn for us. We like this turn. We don't mind this turn. Luckily, none of my Pokemon were, were Focus Sash. Sandstorm's going around taking its little its tax on everybody. And now I could just freely change up other. Sylveon comes out here. Um, okay. With a little bit of speed. And I honestly think we either swap you into Ninetales, or I just protect this turn. I think I'm just going to protect. Just throw a Sacred Fire in this slot. Not really worry about this after too much, because I can always E speed that. I can always E speed that. Yeah, we're just going to protect Shen Pao here. Play it safe, because chances are Sylveon's just dropping a big time, like, Hyper Voice, I would think. And they're gonna show their final Pokemon, which is gonna be Mag. I don't, I don't, I don't mind Magmar. A little bit actually, considering I have both Ice Pokemon in the back end. My Ice Pokemon really aren't doing much of that. And we get a crit there. That's huge. That's huge. And we get a burn. That's beautiful because now Magmar can't just go for follow me and kind of 
take control of this match. Beautiful. Beautiful. Because Magmar is definitely actually scary here with the Pokemon that I did bring. With the Pokemon that I did bring, it is kind of scary. It's kind of scary. It looks like we're just going to win this match no problem with Shen Pao Entei. Okay. So no need for snow. No need for snow here. We're just making solid plays. We are just making solid plays. And actually, the burn didn't even matter. The thing was dying to buffets regardless. So good thing I didn't change the weather, right? Good thing I didn't change the weather. The final Pokemon comes out here. It's going to be Zapdos. Zip Zap with Magmar on the field. Um, Honestly, I'd rather bring out a double hitting Pokemon. So I think maybe change the weather could be good until he like, entails here. Yeah, because if anything, follow me would pop out here, right? And I could just go for a stop and catch him. That's what I'm going to do. Just in case follow me is going to fly here. I'm going to swap into my nine tails. Get the snow cooking. And furthermore, be able to drop double hitting moves such as Blizzard just to get rid of this after. Because again, Magmar could just pop follow me's all day. Yep, and there it is. Speaking of the devil, there's follow me. Good thing I did go into stop and catch him. And Roost is going to fly out from you. So that's not that big of a deal, right? That's not that big of a deal. Because I have to watch out for Magmar's flame body as well. Which is a scary little move, right? It's a scary little move. So, now we can pop Blizzards for free. I could actually pop a War Bell beforehand. I think that's going to be a better play for us. So I'm just going to go War Bell. Keep throwing stop and catch into the Magmar slot. And this thing's just going to go for a Thunderbolt. A Thunderbolt and an Overheat. Can you soak this, Ninetales? You do. I was going to say, Magmar, not that big of a hitter. Not that big of a hitter, so I'm hoping you can soak this. What you do? War Bell now flies out here. We have Stomping Cantrum going across, and we pretty much kind of lock up this match from here, right? We got Weather Control. We got a War Bell out. We played safe. Stomping Cantrum is bringing this thing low. And Tailwind's gone. And Tailwind is gone. So now I can just go freely into this. Go into another Stomping Cantrum because I believe... Actually, let's go into Snarl. I believe Snarl and Blizzard can KO now. I believe Snarl and Blizzard can KO. This little double hitting moves. It might not, to be honest. Magmar's a little bulky with that evil light. But Blizzard's gonna fly. Ring Zapdos down real low. Snarl should go next. And actually, Snarl, I don't think, is KOing the Magmar. It doesn't. It's on one. Little one HP bandit here. Thunderbolt flies through here. It's no big deal. We got this now. We got this one all locked. Because now I can just Snarl, finish off both these guys. Easy peasy. And I'm just gonna go into Articuno. Drop Blizzards. Blizzard. So, solid first match for us. Snow Squad getting the work done. Hot start for us to go into Sacred Sword to take out that T-Tar and Sacred Fire just falling behind doing big time damage on the Zapdos. Everything works out perfectly. So we got the Legendary Bird out. Actually, the second Legendary Bird in this battle. Totally forgot that Zapdos is a Legendary Bird. So we got the best friends out. We just need Moltres on the field, but I think Moltres is the least used out of the three birds in this rank regulation of series. But out comes their final follow me from Magmar. My Pokemon should outspeed. Snarl is going to fly. Take out the Magmar. Zapdos is on about 3 HP. And my legendary bird's better than yours. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we have a War Veil. Yeah, we're fine. We soak that all day. And now Blizzard flies. We say night night to Zapdos. And there's match number one. So we start off things 1 0. Let's go hop into our second match. Moving on to our second match, hot start for the Snow Squad in match number one. We're going up against a male in DD team, alongside with Chi Yu, Ursa and Luna, who I don't think we're going to see, alongside with Fluttermane, Metagross, and Urshifu. So, Chi Yu, I'm definitely scared of. We're going to have to bring in, like, Electivire or, like, Entei here to kind of counter that, because the other Pokemon don't really do that. I mean, I could go into Gyarados, to be honest. And I kind of like Gyarados. A little bit of Intimidate action. I mean, Waterfall can do some big-time damage, especially if we can pull off the D dance but something that screams at me is no weather, right? They have no weather control. So I'm going to go into Ninetales here. I'm also going to go into Gyarados. Because I would love to set up a War Bell and then furthermore try to pop maybe a D-Dance here. That can get really good for us. So I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to bring Shen Pao in late game and set up Articuno. I think we're better off either, either bringing Entei or Electivire. And looking at their team, I mean, Electivire has Stomp and Cantrum. It has... It has, uh, what is it? Thunder Punch as well. But Entei with the Assault Vest, they have a few special attackers. I kind of like this a little bit. Speed can come up clutch, especially with Shen Pao. I like it. So we're not bringing Electivire here in match number two. Probably we'll use it in match number three, considering we haven't used it yet. But for now, we're going to try to make Gyarados the star of match number two. I love Gyarados. I don't know why. I don't know why. Ever since Gen 1, I always try to have it on my team if I wasn't picking Blastoids. Because I beat Gen 1, like Fire Red, Leaf Green, and then like the, the OG ones. 
when I when I grew up, Fire Red and Leaf Green was just coming out. I was like probably like six when that happened, I think. I remember having Leaf Green, but eventually I went back and played the OGs on the on the on the original Game Boy. But every time I played that game, if I did not have Blast Switch on my team, Gyarados or Starmie was my next option. Every single time. I must have beat that game like eight plus times. I played that game a lot. I played that game a lot. Victory Bell I always used to choose, especially when I had Leaf Green, because I believe Fire Red you can only get Fire Plume. Leaf Green you can only get Victory Bell. And I love Victory Bell. Especially in playthroughs. And I just love his design. Because obviously when you're doing playthroughs as like a kid, you go on Pokemon based off designs, right? You're like, okay, that Pokemon looks cool. I like the typing. I don't have that typing yet. Let's put that on the team. And that's usually how it went. But they're gonna leave Metagross here alongside with Fluttermane. You got Clear Body cooking. Um from here, I think Terrasalizing Fire is just so perfect and setting up a war veil. Gonna be our play. Then from here, do we D dance or do we just like protect? I think we just protect here. I honestly think we protect. Actually, they're probably going after Ninetales. Let's set up a D dance here. Let's set up a D dance. So I would think they'd be going for like a steel move into the Ninetales. Hence the reason why we're going Fire Terror, which is just so perfect. And then if I can get some D dance speed cooking behind this war veil, I like it. I definitely like that. So. Out comes the Fire Terror, such a perfect Terror type up against both these guys. And he's going to go for a Dazzling Gleam here, which Gyarados should soak rather well. That actually wasn't as well as I wanted it to be, because it's a crit. Of course it's a crit. And now I get off a Warm Up. So hopefully he's going for the Iron Head or Steel move into, into my, what's it called? Into my Ninetales, and that'd be really good. That'd be a solid turn for us. And you're exploding. And you're exploding. What Metagross explodes? Just ruined everything for me. It ruined everything. <laughs> That's great though. I love it. I love seeing stuff like that. But come on, man. Not on me. Not on me. I guarantee to set up with D-Dance and you're out here exploding. You're out here exploding. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. But I do have Warvel set up. We do love that. I don't have Terra anymore because I kind of just wasted it. Thinking you would go for a normal steel move like every other Metagross would have done. But I do have Shen Pao and I have Entei behind a Warvel, which is actually pretty big for us. Pretty big for us. So now from here, what is the play? Because they don't, I mean, they still have Terra. And Terra could come in clutch, especially with Fluttermane. And I don't know if E Speed can pick up half damage. Can it pick up half damage on a Fluttermane? Actually, we can't even use it in the Fluttermane. What am I talking about? If it goes to Fairy Terror, it could. We might just want to pop a Sacred Fire into that slot. Might be your best bet, because Fluttermane's just a massive threat. It really is. So Shen Pao comes out here. Entei following along. And I might just want to protect Shen Pao this turn. I might just want to protect it. See, they're going to Indeedee. Oh, that's tough news. Now that's tough news. That's tough news. No E speeds allowed. Follow me is a problem. I think we do protect this Pokemon regardless. I think we protect. We could go for a Snarl. Snarl's not a bad play. It's not a bad play up against these special attackers. And, and we have a War Belt. This could help us out. We're actually going to start Snarl spamming. Y'all comes protect from the Snow Leopard. Dazzling Gleam going to cook. I'm blocking, and I'm soaking with you, no problem here. A War Veil, Assault Vest, 17 damage. We love it. Expanding Force, also going to fly here. It does not affect Shen Pao, which is good. And hopefully I can soak rather well to this as well. The expanding Force, powerful move. Okay, I'll take that. Snarl now flying. Bop, we love that. We love that. We can't use Sucker Punch, which kind of stinks. And we dodge all Expanding Forces, which is great. Well, at least you do. So I think from here we just go, you... Then we just snarl again. Yeah, that's gonna be my play. So snarl again. Dazzling Gleam gonna cook. Shen Pao, you soak decent there. Decent there. Entei soaks no problem. Expanded Force does not affect the Shen Pao, which is massive. And Entei soaks even better now. It's huge. It's huge. Ice of Crash connecting, which is huge. Flutter main dying out. We get snarl onto Indeedee, who's now minus two with the War Bell. We have a shot here. We have a shot. And I could protect Shen Pao again if I if I need to. I could if I need to. 
We like that damage. We like that damage. Okay, cool. I could drop Indeedee here as well with Ice Sucker Crash, but that thing being minus two, I think we shouldn't even worry about it. I think we should worry about their final Pokemon here. So looking forward to come back after Metagross just exploded and destroyed two of my Pokemon. One of them who was set up with D-Dance. That was going to be a solid turn for us. That was going to be a solid play for us. D-Dance, Gyarados. Oh, I would have loved it. At least we did get off of War Bell, which is pretty big. At least we did get off of War Bell, Because War Bell helping us out tremendously late in the game here. So, we know chances are that Indeed is probably just a follow me slash expanding force user. It might have Thousand Gleam. I don't really know if it does. But if it does, it's not going to do any damage to my Entei. It might chunk up a little bit of damage onto my Shen Pao. But the final Pokemon is going to be Chiyu. Now, this is where things get a little rough for me, right? This is where things get a little rough. I mean, do I Snarl? Do I keep Snarling? I think we might want to. I see how many turns left in this terrain. Three. I think I'm just going to go for a stop and catch. This thing's kind of a lightweight. This thing is kind of a lightweight. So we're going to go into a protect here. Expanded Force is going to fly here. And they should soak really well. Now this heat wave is looking scary, right? Are we out Spoopa Samba Tantrum? Can you just KO? No shot. No shot. We can't eat speed or anything. Can you soak this? Do soak. You do soak. Okay. Alright, alright. So we can win this match if Ice Crash lands KOs. Because now Entei can then outspeed, and then we can just go for this. I like it. I just need Ice Crash landing. You're outspeeding my Shen Pao? Okay, never mind. We lost. Was that thing always outspeeding my Shen Pao? Are you choice? You got it. You might be choice. I don't recall that thing outspeeding my Shen Pao. We landed Ice Crash. We did land Ice Crash. We got crit. We were carrying regardless. But maybe we could dodge a Heat Wave here? Can we dodge Heat Wave? A little bit of help? A little bit of help? Nah, we don't get the help. Heat Wave gonna fly through here, even through a War Bell. That's taking out Shen Pao. We almost made the comeback. I can't believe I didn't realize that Indeed was outspeeding my Shen Pao this whole time. What are you gonna do? Moving on to our final match. Last match came down to the wire. Very upset at that one that we honestly ended up losing to that Indeed with Expanded Force. But. Now we're sitting here going up against one of my favorite combos of all time, Exigol and Titar. And that's going to be their weather control. They also have Okie Dogi, Salamence, Corviknight, and Ogre Pond. So Rock Squad is their play here. And Rock Squad honestly counters Ice Squad. So I don't know how we're going to do this. I mean, Gyarados is going to be solid here. So I am going to end up leading it. It could end up leading Mirror Armor. But I do have Clear Amulet, which is pretty good. So that can counter the Mirror Armor. Bounce back. But I'm going to do Gyarados here. And I'm going to go Shen Pao. So I would like to maybe protect... Maybe get off something like that and then kind of get after the match that way. But I'm going to go into them too. I'm going to bring Ninetales in the back end. And last but not least, I don't even think we want to bring Electivire here, right? I think Entei is going to be a better option. Or maybe just... I don't even know. Do we want Entei here? With Grass-type? Not bad. I mean, I like your Terror type What about you, Electivire? What's your Terror type You have Fairy. Thunder Punch, Stop, and Tantra, follow me. With Fairy. Um, Articuno, you're not looking good here. We're going to keep Entei. We're gonna keep Entei. So we're one and one here. So close to going two and zero, but this one looks like it's gonna be a tough matchup. Because again, all the Pokemon kind of just counter everything we have. Rock and Ground. I think it's gonna be super effective onto all of our Pokemon. Right? Yeah. Rock super. Yeah. Rock and Ground super effective to our whole team. We are so screwed. If I win this match, I might be the best Pokemon player on planet Earth. Maybe. I just might. But Guard Dog's actually going to pop out here, and this thing is going to get a plus one boost. So Okie Dogie's looking a little scary here. You're looking a little scary. At least we do get off that Intimidate onto you. A plus one on the Okie Dogie's a little tough news here. Sandstream's going to kick up here. Um, I think from here we just go for D-Dance. And we swap into Ninetales. So I would love to try to get off a of Warville here. Could definitely help us out. God dang Guard Dog. I forgot about Guard Dog, to be honest. I was kind of worried about more so Mirror Armor, but Guard Dog popping out here. Plus one boost is just so nice. It's basically Defiant for Intimidate, right? Because even if you have Defiant, you still get the minus one, so you're only going up plus one. But Guard Dog just puts you up plus one instead of minus one. 
And now Okie okay, Dokie's set up pretty well here. I would love to get off this T-Dance. Start thriving here. We're going to swap the Shen Pao. I'm going to go right into Nine Tails here. It's just so tough for us, man. Maybe I should just take a sword. Maybe I should just take a sword to Titar. Kind of like match number one. I want to take out Weather. End up withdrawing on Titar here, too. The Titar is going to get the withdrawal. We're going to be able to get off a D dance here. So out comes you, and you're going to intimidate me. I got clear amulet, which is great. Clear amulet for the Gary. D dance flies out here. We get that plus one attack boost. We're plus one speed, too, which is rather nice. Which is rather nice. Now, Okie Dokie is the scary little Pokemon here. And he's going to go for Drain Punch here, which is going to be neutral. Get off some damage. So we could go for Aurora Rail if we want to, but chances are you're going to swap back. And if you're going to swap anything, it's going to be you. But honestly, I still feel as we go after Okie Dokie. And we might just want to Howl here. Could maybe pop a Blizzard, but I think I'm just going to Howl and start, start trying to boost my Gyarados. I think that's my play. Yeah, oh, you end up withdrawing Okie Dokie. That's fine by me. That's fine by me, because that's going to be Titar, right? Yes, sir. We can say bye-bye to Titar. Yes, sir. Bye-bye, Titar. Waterfall going to fly here. Plus one. Should knock it out, right? Yep. And now I get this Howl boost. And I wonder what you're going for, Salamence. Because honestly, Salamence looking a little scary here. Salamence definitely looking a little scary. So I boost my Gyarados to plus two, which is pretty good for us. And now I could swap Ninetales to try to get weather for the rest of the match. Maybe set up a reward bell later. Nope. You just go for Air Slash, and we're able to soak. I might as well Howl boost again, right? I might as well. Could swap nine tails. Do we want the weather? Do we want the weather? Kind of, right? Let's see who they have. We might want this weather. They're gonna go into Exigel here. Yeah, we gotta swap nine tails. I'm gonna go here. He can freely EQ, and I'm gonna swap nine tails into. I think we go Entei. I mean, if you're going for EQ or Rock Slide, we're going to take big time damage regardless. And I'd rather Entei take the damage than Shen Pao. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. So if I can change up weather and just try to get rid of Exedrill, that'd be huge. Because Sand Rush Exedrill taking all the speed away from us, which is something we want. So we have a Gyarados plus two on attack and plus one on speed. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I end up protecting them. I would think they would go after him, seeing him as a threat. And Iron Head's going to fly here, which we block. It's a big time block. And what are you going for? An Air Slash here? You're going for a Draco Meteor, which we block. We love it. The double down, we get off the free swap. Now I can swap Weather back out. Um, the real question is who do I go after? They still have Terra. They do still have Terra. But I still feel as maybe just like a simple Waterfall as a play. And swap back into Nine Tails. Because they can't change up weather for the rest of the match. We got rid of the T-Tar from a bad swap from them. Real bad swap from them. Swapping a plus one Okie Dokie. So we know their whole team. We know exactly who they have. We now have weather control. No more Sandstorm allowed. No more Sandstorm allowed. He has a pr just protecting extra drill, which is fine, I guess. And he's probably going for a Draco Meteor into my... Into my Gyarados. But now I can set up a War Bell. Ooh. -hoo. He can set up a war bell. Now you go for Tailwind. Okay, no Draco Meteor. All right. That's fine by me. So from here, I'm just going to protect Gyarados again. Actually, mm, that's not too good for us. We shouldn't protect Gyarados. I don't want to go for a Blizzard, if anything. But yeah, we shouldn't protect Gyarados. We're going to go for a... We're going to go for a Waterfall here and a Blizzard if we can land it. It'd be nice. A nice little Tailwind play from them. He's going to end up going for an Air Slash. That's fine. Actually, are you sashed? I'm curious to see if you're sashed or not. I'm curious to see. Iron Head's going to fly here. You should soak this Gyarados. Yeah, all day. That's an easy soak for you. And Waterfall's going to fly. And you are sashed. So the Sash does come out here. Um, I can bring out a super speedy Pokemon such as Shen Pao or even Entei here, which would be a little bit better for us. And just E-Speed that down. So I'm going to spam E-Speed onto that slot right there. I might protect the Gyarados. I might just protect the Gyarados. The reason I say I might protect the Gyarados is because... A Draco Meteor could fly. That's just that's just not good for us. Actually, I should Snarl here. I should Snarl instead of E-Speed. I'm going to Snarl instead of E-Speed. Because you might protect him. Yeah. Yeah. You might protect him. 
Good call for me to go for the Snarl, because now I have Salamence minus one, who is a special attacker. So not special attacking moves. There's the Draco Meteor. Yo, great protect genes. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. That's too easy. And honestly, yo, we are playing so good. Even though we have all the typing disadvantages here. We are thriving. So special attack drop comes out here. Now is when I throw the E-Speed. And now is when I just go for a waterfall into you. And if I get rid of uh, Extra Drill here too, that's massive because uh, Salamence cannot swap out. It'll be minus one for the rest of the battle. And he ends up just withdrawing Extra Drill here. Alright. So withdrawal of Extra Drill comes out here. East Speed's going to pop into the Okie Dogie. Let's see how much damage Waterfall is going to do here. And actually, you just outspeed me. And can we soak that? Dude, that's gorgeous. Easily soak that. Waterfall flying. How many turns are left in Tailwind is the real question. I loved. Oh, you got the Rocky Helmet. And there's Tailwind's gone. So we got some speed cooking here. We got some speed cooking here. I'm going to go after you. And... I don't want to double down to Okie Dogie. I really don't. I think I just might throw a Sacred Fire. I should target down this slot. Just in case he wants to swap the Salamence. He protects Okie Dogie. For the protection of Okie Dogie, I don't think you can KO my Gyarados. I don't know if you can. Let's be honest here. Because Rocky Helmet took us down a little bit. We have to go for Draco Moon. Let's see what you got. Sacred Fire is going to fly here. How much damage are we doing? Not enough. Give me a burn. No burn. This thing roost. Okay, so. Rather it roost than Tailwind. Let's be honest here. Rather it roost than Tailwind. Rather it roost than Tailwind. So from here, we're going to do that. We are just going to keep throwing Sacred Fires this way. Because I believe Waterfall should KO being plus two. And I kind of like where we're sitting with first turn priority Pokemon. We have Entei. We have Shed Pal. I like it. So Tailwind honestly should have been the play there. It should have been the play. He should have been the play. And maybe a swap Tailwind would be the play here, but Waterfall, they're not going to swap. Does not KO Okie Dogie. And it has a berry. That's upsetting. We might lose this match. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how this one plays. Tailwind's scary here. Are they going to set up a Tailwind? Most likely. Give me a burn. Give me a little bit of burn. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Is this thing going to Tailwind up? It does Tailwind up. So Tailwind is here. Um... Dunk shot flying. Doing some damage. And poisons me as well. So we get a burn. They get a poison. Alright. Is it E speed time? Burn's chipping. It's a solid matchup. Protect you. Let's go E speed. Let's chunk up some HP on the Soki Dogi slot. We still have Shen Pao. We have speed boosted on my Gyarados, but their Tailwind's really helping them out. And they end up protecting Okie Dogi, which is such a smart play. Such a solid smart play. Protect comes out from Gary. Wait, Protect, are you roosting here? You could be roosting. Could be roosting, which could pose a little bit of a threat to us. But again, Shen Pao in the back end's looking good. But Shen Pao can one-shot that all day. I'm not worried about you. Did they even use Terror type? I'm trying to think, did they use Terror type? We end up dying out to this burn. They might still have Terra. Let's be honest here. I can't even remember. I don't even remember if we used Terra. We may we might have uh, terrestrialized nine tails. I forget. I honestly forget. I'm gonna check in a second. Did none of us use Terra yet? Do I still have my Terra? Do I still have Terra? We still have Terra. Do they still have Terra? They still have Terra. Alright, our play all day here is just go Waterfall. Into you. Actually, let's Waterfall into you, just in case. But I'm going to Terrastalize into Stellar, and I'm just going to go for this, this Sucker Punch here. The Stellar Terra type coming out here. We have to make sure that we pick up this KO of the Ogie Dogie. So, wow. They still have Terra. We still have Terra. Pretty nice. Pretty clutch. Because Stellar Terra type is going to be huge for this damage boost. Really needed it. Sucker Punch is going to fly. This should KO no problem. Bye-bye, Okie Dogie. 
And even if this turns into a 2v1 situation, I think Shen Pao could clutch up. I really do. Really do with the life orb. Air Slash gonna fly here, and Gyarados dodges. Big time dodge for Gary. It's a big time dodge for Gary, because Waterfall doing damage. We are gonna take some Rocky Helmet damage. Do we survive that? We don't. Okay, so now it's a 2v1. This is where things get a little weird, because they bring out Excadrill. And Excadrill is, is scary, let's be honest. It's scary because it has Iron Head, Iron Head. Could potentially KO. So I could play it simple, I could play it smart. And I could just sucker punch him here. Or I could just be like, hey, let's just attack this Salamence and read that this thing's protecting. And that's where I'm leaning towards. If I lose this match, it's on me, but I'm leaning towards extra protecting here and us just going for an ISO crash. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest, that's our play all day. You're protecting. You're protecting this show. You just seen Sucker Punch drop your Okie Doki. You are putting up a shield. I can see it now. Extra hit and protect here. Who's Thrasilizing? Is this Salamence? It's gotta be Salamence. Yeah, Salamence is hitting this. You gotta be protecting. You got Dragon Terror. You got Dragon. You're still protecting that extra. Show me that you're protecting the extra. Come on, man. Come on, man. Draco Meteor, we dodge it anyway. It's fine. That's fine. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's way too easy. Now, I was thinking of probably just sucker punching this, uh, this Salamence. But now we are thriving here. How many turns are left in Tailwind? We could play it safe. Or I can just start spamming the sucker punch till we win this game. I mean, let's just spam Sucker Punch, because once it moves, it's dead, and Tailwind's gone. But still, Sucker Punch is going to be a play. I outspeed it. I know I outspeed it, but we're just going to keep Sucker Punching. But they cancel battle, and what a solid third and final match, giving us a 2-1 winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 great set of battles for today's video. I absolutely love this team. Rocking out with Ninetales, Shen Pao, and Articuno. Gyarados seeing a lot of love in, in match number three. And then Entei obviously thriving out in any situation he's put in. We didn't really get to use Electivire today, but it's all good. I have a video of Electivire out on my channel. So if you guys were that, that's what to see Electivire. Make sure you guys head over to my channel. Check it out. It's there. Search up Gene's Electivire video. It'll probably pop up. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.